Just a few weeks before Mobile World Congress, the talk is the HTC M7. How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and that's the latest rumored device from HTC. It's getting a lot of buzz, but my question to you is can it compete in 2013 against industry heavyweights like Apple, Samsung, and more? Let's go talk about it. So the HTC M7 is the latest device that's kind of churning through the rumor mill in the wireless industry right now. And if the rumored specs are anything to be believed, and I'll be the first to tell you, take rumored specs with a grain of salt. I actually am not a huge fan of covering rumored devices because I think there's so much to cover within the industry itself. But this one is pretty hot. According to specs, rumored specs at that, it's a quad core 1.7 gigahertz toting device with two gigabytes of RAM, an unheard of 486 PPI display that's 1080p, it's got a 13 megapixel camera, an HTC Sense version 5 or 5.0, whatever they decide to call it. So new specs all around and it's bringing to the table a better camera, a new version of Sense, a quad core 1.7 gigahertz processor, a big design, a nice big display with a nice PPI. So the question is, what does it need to do? What does HTC need to do to be successful in 2013? And there's no doubt about it, 2013 is gonna be a defining year in wireless. And you know, I say that at the beginning of every year, I've been in this for a long time, but really 2013, we're seeing a lot of consolidation and really HTC is not doing that well, comparatively speaking. Their Q4 numbers, they posted a 91% drop in profit, that's year over year. So you know what, they're still making a profit, but it's not nearly as big as it was a year ago. That's not a huge deal when you look at those numbers and those numbers alone, but when you compare those to Apple, Samsung, other industry heavyweights in the market, it presents an interesting conundrum for HTC. They're trying to diversify with their Windows phones. You're looking at the potential of an M7. What do they need to do? I think it's a couple of different things. One, if they release the HTC M7, they need to make it available on as many carriers as possible in the US. You know, I did the Sony video last week and I said the exact same thing. Carrier exclusivity needs to go out the window because honestly, when you itemize like that, you kind of segue a device into a particular carrier, you're eliminating the potential for a ton of people to adopt it. One thing I love about the Note 2, the Galaxy S3, the iPhone 5, is that it's available on most carriers, particularly the Note 2 and the Galaxy S3. I can walk into T-Mobile or Verizon or Sprint, I can walk out with pretty much the same device, save for a couple of different color schemes and things like that. I love the ability to do that. That's great for consumers because they're not forced to switch to a carrier that may not work well for them to get the device that they want or vice versa. You know, they may love their carrier. They may want to stay with them, but they may really want that HTC M7. They need to release it on as many carriers as possible. Fortunately, the rumors, and again, take them always with a grain of salt, but unfortunately, rather, the rumors are saying that it's going to come to multiple carriers with the exception, perhaps, of T-Mobile. So we'll see how that pans out. But that is one huge thing that they need to do. Number two, marketing. They need to put a huge marketing effort behind this, put the dollars behind it, make this device as big as it can be through marketing, and really tell a story. This is something HTC has done really well in the past, and for whatever reason, other competitors have kind of caught up and surpassed them, but they need to tell a story behind this device. Why does it have a 13 megapixel camera? Why are they running Sense 5? What makes it better? How can you integrate this into your lifestyle? They need to be telling that kind of conversation, or having that kind of conversation, rather, on TV, on radio, on print, through websites and more all across the world. So you've got the marketing dollars, you've got the carrier support all across the board in the US and around the world. The third thing that HTC needs to do, at least from what I'm hearing from feedback, they need to pare back the sense experience just a little bit. Now granted, I haven't looked at Sense 5 or 5.0, whatever they decide to call it, but they need to pare back and make it a little bit less laggy, a little bit less resource heavy, so people can get that experience that comes from something like Motorola's style user interface or Samsung's user interface, something that integrates just a little bit better with Android. I'm hoping that the two gigabytes of RAM combined with the benefits that they've increased or the benefits they put into Sense 5 or 5.0 really make this device a speedy device because you know what? I'll be the first to tell you from a demographic standpoint, they got to appeal to multiple demographics with this device. It's not just appealing to the tech nerd or just appealing to the first time smartphone user. They need to appeal to a bunch of different people. But what I will say is people like you, people like myself, kind of dictate the conversation in a lot of ways. For example, a lot of people are watching this video and pulling assertions of HTC based on this video and very similar to what I'm sure what you do as well. When you refer your friends or refer your family to a particular manufacturer, HTC needs to keep that in mind and keep in mind that yes, the tech industry by far is not the largest demographic. They've got to play to a bunch of different demographics, but hopefully the combination of specs, killer performance on this device, 
and the fact that they can per, uh, make this a, you know, a high-end device for multiple demographics. Hopefully they can bring those two together, make the tech people happy, make the first-time smartphone buyers happy, so when perhaps mom comes to you and says, you know, son or daughter, which smartphone should I get? You'll say the HTC M7 because it's got A, B, C, D, and E, and all of these are great features that'll work well for you. Again, when you look at the Nexus 4, you look at a bunch of different devices. I'm not saying the tech people are the primary demographic by any means, but they do dictate a lot of the conversations. And if you look at YouTube, you look anywhere on TV, at CNBC, Fox Business, CNN, ABC, the people that are talking are tech pundits. And you know what? Their influence does matter. So hopefully they'll appeal to all of those demographics. They'll appeal to the first time smartphone buyers, perhaps to somebody that's coming from a Samsung or an Apple device, and they can bring people in to the HTC M7. But I would love to hear from you with this device. What do you want to see from the HTC M7? Do you want to see, and get as techy as you want to, because we'll have a conversation about this in the comments section. Do you want to see stock Android? Do you want to see better features? Do you want to see better software specifications? Just tell me. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter, Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog in the comments section below on YouTube or on the site at phone dog.com. I'd love to hear from you because I think your perspective is particularly interesting as well as we work towards this high-end potential device from HTC. I want to see what angle they take this. If they take it towards the high-end techies, which HTC does have a huge developer community and have done really well with that in the past, or do they work with the first-time smartphone buyers, that demographic, the perhaps the retail customer, the person that doesn't know that much about smartphones walking in. We'll see what happens, but in the meantime, I want to hear from you. Let me know on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, or on the site at PhoneDog.com. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it locked here for continuing specs, rumors, updates, and more on the HTC M7. And as always, we'll see you next time.